So let's talk about the travel warnings that the U.S. Department of State has placed on the Bahamas. Hey fellow travelers, this is Norman Payne from Up, Up, Up and Away. Thank you for stopping into my channel and welcome back. This channel is about everything travel. Everything from travel tips, travel hacks, and travel news, to cruise ship port videos, to destination videos. If you're interested in being a more informed traveler, then hit that subscribe button right this moment. All right, now that we have gotten that out of the way, let's discuss the U.S. Department of State's travel advisory and the advisory that they have put on the Bahamas. Now let's get this straight. This is nothing new. The U.S. Department of State, they evaluate every country and put travel advisories out often on all types of countries and the Bahamas is no different. The Bahamas is at a level two at the moment. So let's talk about what those different levels are. Level one, exercise precaution. Level two, exercise increased caution. Level three, reconsider travel. Level four, do not travel. Travel should not be scary, but you should take precautions when you're traveling. It's like going anywhere, even in your own neighborhood, in your own city, in your own state. You should be aware of your surroundings. There are many places that are not considered dangerous, but they put the travel advisory on the entire area of Nassau. A level one travel advisory means don't be crazy. Be aware of your surroundings. You are not in your neighborhood. A level two is a little more concerning, but it is not saying that you should not travel to the Bahamas, but you should be aware of your surroundings. Take precautions. Be aware of where you're going and do not venture off into areas that most tourists do not go to. A level two advisory reads as such. Exercise increased caution in the Bahamas due to crime. This is not to say that you can't go to the Bahamas. I've been there several times. I've been there on cruise ships and I've flown in and stayed there on the land. It is a nice place. I've enjoyed myself each and every time and I've never felt unsafe. A lot of cruise ships visit there. It is a big port and it is a lot of things to do. You can go right off the ship onto their very, very new and secure area that they just created. It's fenced in. It is a great addition to the new pier that they just created. Now, a lot of people like to venture out into the city. Like myself, I like to go out. I like to go out to the shops, the restaurants, things like that are right outside the gate. Once you leave that gate, there will be a lot of vendors out there that will offer to take you to different places. There are a lot of things to see out there in the Bahamas and it is exciting and enticing. And I would not say don't go. The Queen Staircase, to go to Great Cliff, to go to the Rum Factory, go to Jucano Beach, which is about a mile away. Those are places that you can go to that are not right there by the cruise port. It is still safe because it is well patrolled by the police because they know that the tourists will venture to these places. So they are there 
to protect you. Now you have to go to the straw market. The straw market is a short walk from the cruise port. And on the way is a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants. But remember, there is police, a lot of police everywhere you look. So it is safe. But be, be aware of your surroundings because crime happens everywhere in the world, not just in the Bahamas because of the level two advisory. It happens everywhere. Your neighborhood might have a level two advisory. If you have ever been to Nassau, whether by ship or flown in, leave me a comment and let me know your experience. Let me know if you ventured out. If you went to different places in Nassau, how did you go? Did you feel safe? Let me know about that. Also, be sure that you share this video with other people that are going to Nassau. Like this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and be sure that you hit that notification bell so you'll know the next time I upload another video. Well, that's all I have for you today. Until our paths cross again soon, I'll see you then. Peace. And please like this video share it and subscribe to my channel also follow me on all my social media just hashtag up 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 norman where you will find my facebook page my instagram account my twitter page and my tiktok page